and a lot of that is drift uh, that the drone is unaware of. So uh, let's uh, let's see what we get here. Let's see if the demo gods are kind today. First, I'll start with just a uh, uh, a small box flight and uh, see what we get. Oh, I need to reconnect. No, nope, it's dead. That's a fairly simple routine. Uh, yes? Are you running this uh, on your laptop or on the phone? Yes, initially, we're, well, right now, all of this is feeding off of the, uh, the Mac. And you know what? I did not uh, switch over to this. I should have. But that is, uh, and in the next uh, next flight plan, I will switch over to this. This is MQTT FX that uh, Jens wrote. Uh, very nice, and you'll see the, the feed coming through when I remember to do it this time. Um, what I want to do is show you a few, a few flights just off of the, the laptop, and then we're going to power up the, uh, the Pi. Uh, this does go through battery, so I was uh, wanting to run a few initially, and then we'll wrap up with the uh, fully onboard power. That, in fact, again, the flight dynamics are a little wonkier when you, you put that much weight on top, so this just makes it a little more consistent, and then a room full of people consistent is excellent. <laughs> so. Uh, we'll try it. We'll see. <laughs> there you go. Uh, this has a homing feature, and this particular flight is supposed to, uh, this particular uh, demo is supposed to bring it back fairly close to where it started. It does an L shape uh, routine pattern, and it comes back and you hopefully land somewhere close to where it's off. Or, or will it be great? Or will it be great? Okay. <laughs> some subtopics under QTT. This allows you to make some sense of it in a very uh, presentable way. Uh, there is a play, obviously. And as you can see, the data is feeding back from the drone to the pod and back to the console. I think I have some yaw just in some weird here. Awesome. 